Right, so, how do you approach a business or a data science task? Here are two possible scenarios. Imagine your boss has carefully read the company's reports and dashboards and wants you to make some predictions for the firm's outgoing costs over the next year. The logical way to approach this problem is to gather some relevant data and then prepare it for analysis. Alternatively, your boss might come to you and say, Hey, we have this enormous amount of data here. We don't really know what we can do with it. It's customer data, so it must be useful. Can you do something with it and tell us how we could increase our profit for next year? In this case, having the data set is the starting point. Unlike the first case, you don't need to collect data that will help you answer a business question. You are provided with the data and off you go. You can analyze it and apply different analytical tools to extract insights and make forecasts. In either scenario, from a data scientist's perspective, the solution to every task begins with having a proper data set. This must be first on your to-do list. Only then can you proceed with further analysis and forecasting. To combat the entire process of solving a business task, we have prepared our 365 Data Science Infographic, a visual summary of all must-know data science terms and concepts. Now, it may look overcrowded, but we think it is the most concise and to-the-point representation of data science terms you will find. And it is one which you need to have under your belt before entering the field of data science. So, what's inside? Briefly, we have split the information into five columns, each detailing different stages of the process of solving a business task, working with traditional data or big data, doing business intelligence, applying traditional data science techniques, and using unconventional machine learning techniques. Then, we have divided the columns into rows, which contain the answers to the following questions. When is this part of the process applied? Why do we need it? What are the techniques related to this activity? Where or in which real-life cases can it be applied? How is it implemented? Using what tools? Who is doing this? What are the common misconceptions about this activity? The entire picture resembles a table or matrix with seven rows and five columns. Hopefully, when broken down like this, it looks a little less intimidating. Great! So, we can say this infographic is a companion to the diagram we already talked about. We are still looking at the areas where business and data science overlap, but we have structured the visualization in a slightly different way. Additionally, we have extended the picture with two columns containing data terms only. Now, Starting from the next video, we will go through each part of the infographic step by step, and you will be able to compare the terms and buzzwords related to each discipline easily. Fantastic! This is everything we have to share with you about the structure of the infographic visualization. It is simple and intuitive, and it will clear all doubts you have. We can promise you that. So, in our next video, we will begin our presentation. Are you excited? Because we are! See you there!